What in heaven's name has happened to you? You look positively ghastly. It is not insulting, it's the truth. You look like a pile of wet laundry. Give me your hat at least, so the rain will stop dripping in your eyes. Ugh. Just look at the state of you. Did you stumble into the Thames? Uh, I'm not surprised you couldn't get a cab. With this weather, you'd need an arc anyway. How did I know it was you at the door? Did I guess? Oh, you know better than that. I never guess. I knew it was you by the way you turned the key in the lock. You make one sound, Watson another, and Mrs. Hudson another. Hmm. Besides, I do have somewhat of an advantage. Mrs. Hudson is visiting her sister. And Watson telegrammed ahead to say that he is overrun with patience and will not be returning from his surgery until the morning. <laughs> yes, yes, it is absurdly simple when it is explained. Come in. Change out of those wet things. Obviously, you've brought nothing with you, so you'll have to make do with something of mine. Hmm... Here, yes, here. This nightshirt should be comfortable enough, and and my dressing gown here. Run along, change. I shall make you some tea. Of course, I can make tea. Mrs. Hudson's is better, but mine is not necessarily revolting. <laughs> Would you prefer lavender, black currant, or Earl Grey? Hmm. Then I shall have it ready for you when you return. Here you are. Would you prefer to recline on the settee, or to draw my chair closer to the fire? My chair it is, then. There. Take this blanket. Wait, what is that paper in your hand? Oh, let me see. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I am in a bit of a conundrum, and I know you help people when they are in need. I believe I am the victim of an elaborate prank, and I should like to know why the whole grotesque business has happened. I shall come round to see you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Signed, Mr. J. Bears Wilson. Hmm, who is this Mr. Wilson? Pawnbroker. Oh, in Saxe-Coburg. Yes, in Saxe-Coburg, near the branch of the uh, Capital and Counties Bank, I remember. No, no, I know nothing about him, whatever. But it is my business to maintain an exact knowledge of London. No, no, I don't think you are up to discussing this further tonight. We cannot accomplish anything. We know nothing as yet. Remember what I always say. Data, data, data. You cannot make bricks without clay, my dear. Ah, uh, no buts. Mr. Jabez Wilson can wait until morning. Now drink your tea. I shall get out my violin and play for you. Rest now. All will be well when the sun rises. 